For breakfast this morning, I'm having Pop Tarts and strawberry peach juice. Little flavor packets I got at Dollar General. Current mood. So our plan this morning is to hike four miles to get to Grafton Notch and we texted a shuttle driver that we saw contact information for on Gut Hook if he could come and pick us up and drive us to resupply and then drive us back to the trail when we're done. So that's the plan. We've never done that. We've never resupplied and then gone back out to trail the same day. We're not going to stay in town. We just want to keep on hiking. So that stop worked out extremely well. We got to the parking lot and Ramble picked us up, drove us to the grocery store in Bethel, Maine, did a full resupply, went back to the parking lot, packed up all the food into our packs, and then he mentioned that slack packing would be pretty easy. So we gave him a couple more bucks and he is slack packing us for the next 10 miles today which I think is where we're gonna end the day anyway. So that would be a 14 mile day, 10 miles without our packs, and it's gonna feel great, especially after a full resupply. You never, like you always dread hiking um, the next couple miles after you do that resupply. So yeah, pretty happy about that. How gorgeous is Maine. So behind me we just climbed Bald Pate West um, and then right in front you can see we're about to climb that. That's Bald Pate East. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> So my gut hook app has been down all day um, for lack of internet, which doesn't really make sense because it's an app that's meant to be used without internet. But anyways, I just got it to load after a big struggle and it's pretty cool to be on the last map of gut hook. So if you don't know, gut hook is like a navigational app that has the whole AT and the AT is broken up into different sections. I don't know, like maybe nine or 10 sections, and this is the last section. So, woo! <laughs> Next stop, Katahdin. I'm out there. You are trying to laugh No. The rock herons are like on a vertical slab of rock. So when we texted the shuttle driver today and asked if he could bring us into town to resupply and then back to trail, we didn't really have an idea of where we were going to resupply. We were just going to trust him and be like, just bring us to the closest place that sells groceries. So he brought us to the Food Lion, I think that's the name of it, in Bethel, Maine. Um, and as we were driving there, I noticed a lot of familiar things. I'm like, I've been to that restaurant. I've been here. And I just realized that I got engaged in Bethel, Maine. <laughs> um, so that's where Sunday River is. And I didn't know it was that close to the Appalachian Trail. So now that I'm on a mountain, I can see Sunday River and I can see the place that I got engaged. So this is pretty special for me. You can see some of the trails, but I got engaged on one of those. This is the only thing I brought on the slack pack for water. So it's my filter with like a little one liter bag. So I've just been drinking a lot at every water source.
We've seen a lot of frogs in Maine so far, and they're about like six times bigger than this gummy frog. <laughs> So when I resupplied today, I was really craving good snacks and junk food. And then I also went a little overboard with the Ziploc bags. So I got this Ziploc bag of Cheez-Its. I have some like gummy trail mix. I got a bag of Oreos. And Fritos. So I'm all stocked up on snacks for the next couple of days. There is some healthy stuff in there. Like, don't look at the whoopie pie, but like, I don't know. <laughs> Got some <laughs> natural peanut butter. <laughs> um, <laughs> fruit <laughs> gummies. There's the Pop-Tarts and the ramen. Um, you know, this is, oh wait, dried fruit and granola. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 1900 miles into this through hike, I'm almost at mile 2000. I think I deserve to eat all the junk food that I want at this point. <laughs> I am just about ready for bed. It has been a 14.8 mile day. And I feel really good after that. 10 miles of that was the slack pack. And I think I needed that. I was just getting really frustrated with the terrain and my backpack and I just being, just feeling slowed down. So these last 10 miles, I just felt fast and I felt free and it was really good for me. So we found a campsite by a road. Um, there's a little stream and a little waterfall and we built a fire and we got to camp pretty early compared to, I feel like, what we've usually been doing. We had a couple early nights this week, and it's just nice to take your time and eat dinner and hang out. So that's what we did. Um, I'm in my tent, ready for bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.